I got challenged this week in a passage of scripture, and Jesus said this, if anyone is to serve me, he must follow me. And I started asking myself, God, I do a lot of serving you. Right? I get to go out to these concerts, and I get to go and speak in different places, and I get to serve other people and share my gifts with them. But if I'm to serve you, that's not enough. I must also follow you. Because from really following after Jesus and knowing him and growing in intimacy with him, then service comes. That's, that's the order that things should happen. We would serve him out of a grateful heart because if we aren't following Jesus, which is being obedient to him, growing in our relationship with him, but we're just serving him, we're just part of ministries, we're just doing the right things when we come to church, we're going to be doing those things out of the wrong place. We're going to be doing those things out of the wrong heart. It won't be out of a heart of gratitude and love for Jesus. It'll be out of obligation. And it'll be almost like this. God, I serve you. Now I got you in the headlock. You own me. And that's when we start tripping when bad stuff happens to us. We go, God, how could this happen to me? I serve you. We start asking all these crazy questions like, God, why would you let something like this happen if anything bad would happen? It's us, our friends, our loved ones. And then I have to ask myself, God, what is my true treasure? See, fool's gold is just fake gold. It looks like it. It looks like the real thing. It shines like it. When you hold it in your hand, you look at it and go, wow, this is bright and beautiful. But it's really just an imitation. And so I have to ask myself continually, what am I putting my trust and my hope in? What am I desiring and longing after? And if it's anything more than God himself, it's an idol. It's replacing God and it is fool's gold. It's actually a treasure of mine that isn't actually worth what I think it is. So I ask that question to y'all as we continue to move forward. What is your greatest treasure in life? What is the thing that you say, if I have this, then I'm most happy? If I have this, I'm most satisfied. And of course, you know the answer is God, right? But some of us don't live like that. Some of us say, man, God, when you send me that husband, then I'll be satisfied. Then you're all in. Then you're in. But if you send me that wife, fellas, I know what you're talking about. I feel your pain. If you send me that, then I'll be happy. Or if I just get the job that I want, if I just get what I've always dreamt about, then I'll be fulfilled. And that is a scary thing. Because it's not like those things aren't good things. Life, job, career, all those things. Those are good things. They're just not God things. So ask yourself that tonight as you get to go back home. What is your greatest treasure in life? What do you feel like you couldn't live without? And if it's not God at first, you might have to ask yourself some hard questions like, is this an idol? Is this fool's gold? Is this a treasure that I'm exalting above God?